Hey there, Philip here from Manning the Fort, and today I want to go over why I think we may be getting a significant piece of lore involving Grimaldus in the not too distant future. A little while ago, I did a video on updates to the Black Templar's lore in the new Codex supplement. While the Codex definitely cleaned up some things and made our lore a bit more consistent, though I may still never forgive Guy Haley for having Hellbrick kneel to a psyker, there was one thing missing. Merrick Grimaldus, our most well-known character, basically doesn't get mentioned in any of the lore segments. I get that a supplement doesn't have as much room for lore as a full codex, but there are plenty of places they could have snipped a page or so to let us know what Grimaldus is up to. Then there's this. Last I checked, Grimaldus' title was Reclusiarch. Now, messing around with chaplain titles is nothing new for Games Workshop and Black Library. At the time that Hell's Reach was written, Reclusiarch and Master of Sanctity were titles for chaplains within the Warhammer 40k rules, and Master of Sanctity is still around. It's worth noting that while Reclusiarch is a rank of reverence looking after the chapter's relics, it's not the chapter's highest ranking chaplain. High Chaplain, on the other hand, certainly reads that way. But it's not something I'm aware of reading about before in reference to the Black Templars, and I asked around a few other Black Templars lore nerds, and they couldn't find references to it either. So that aside, let's look at what's happening with Black Library. In the timeline, things have been rewound quite a bit recently. Instead of the Indominus Crusade beginning a century ago in the books, it's now less than 20 years in. That also puts it much closer to the events of the Third War for Armageddon, when we last heard from Grimaldus. The seeming lack of lore update on him and his new title lead me to believe that we're going to hear about our favorite kind-eyed chaplain pretty soon. So if there is new material coming for Grimaldus, what could it be? I see a few potential options. Each of them also has some problems, though. First, we know that there is a large crusade of Black Templars accompanying Indominus Fleet Secundus. The Codex mentions five fighting companies and 150 vehicles. Even for a chapter as large as the Templars, that's a big chunk of their strength, so it's not out of the realm of possibility that one of its greatest heroes would be along for the ride. Also, the Indominus Crusade and its combined arms approach with various other Imperial forces feels like it would be a good fit for Grimaldus after we see how he comes to appreciate the contributions of the Imperial Guard in Hell's Reach and Blood and Fire. The issue with that is that we have the name of the leader of that crusade, Marshal Gaidon. There are two full pages about that crusade in the Codex Supplement, and there's no mention of Grimaldus, and I feel like if he was there, there would at least be a name check? Another potential option I see has to do with the Celestial Lions. We know from Blood and Fire that Grimaldus helps the last remnants of that chapter survive, and that he knows how they came to be nearly destroyed by elements of the Inquisition. We also know from Spear of the Emperor that the Lions do indeed survive and make it back to their homeworld of Elysium Nine. While there are Templars accompanying the Lions and continuing to help rebuild their chapter, the Inquisition isn't quite done messing with them, though. I'll leave the details aside to avoid spoilers, but suffice to say that if word got back to Grimaldus of what happened, he would not be happy. There are some difficulties with this too, though. Alara's Vale in Elysium 9, the Lion's homeworld, is in Imperium Nihilus, and we don't know which side of the Great Rift Grimaldus was on when it opened. It could be pretty difficult for him to reach the lions, even if he does find out what happened to them, which is far from certain. And if he has indeed become the Templar's highest ranking chaplain, his duties might keep him from going himself. Still, I'd say it's not impossible that he shows up in a future Aaron Dembski Bowden book as that story unfolds. I know Dembski Bowden's writing of Grimaldus isn't to everyone's taste, but I personally really like it, and let's face it, Hell's Reach is the reason a lot of people even know about the Templars. Those potential duties bring me to the third option. We know that the compromise struck between High Marshal Helbrecht and Robute Gilliman involved the Black Templars defending various worlds belonging to the Ecclesiarchy. For a chapter whose religious nature is now very firmly cemented, sending its highest ranking chaplain, who is already renowned for his defense of an imperial temple, just kind of makes sense. 
We know that there were multiple such crusades, not all of which we know the leaders of, other than that many were drawn from Helbrecht's own sword brethren. Again though, I feel like it would have been pretty easy to drop a single sentence even in the Codex supplement if this was what indeed is happening. Now, I have to admit that it's also possible that none of these things happen, and GW is intentionally leaving Grimaldus' current whereabouts vague to make it more plausible for him to appear in our games on the tabletop. I have to admit I'd be a little disappointed if that were the case. But what do you think? What has Grimaldus been up to? If the Warhammer community post is to be believed, which is often dubious, we know that the events of Hive Hell's Reach were enough to get him promoted out of the rank of Reclusiarch that he had only really held for a couple of months at that point, I think? Anyway, let me know your theories and wish listing for his story in the comments. I also have another video looking at Grimaldus during the novella Blood and Fire, which you can watch by clicking the link on the screen right now. Until next time, I will triumph or I will die. And thanks for watching.